Hey, Ponty Pants. Hey! Today we are talking about Punch a Bunch. 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 You wait for it. You wait for it. Come on. Give me, give me. Bang, bang, bang. Oh my goodness, bro. This is so cool. <laughs> Why can I walk? Ooh, absolutely revolutionary. Die, you dumb, dummy. Punch a bunch, or like, sucks a bunch. Hello, welcome back. Last week, I released a demo for the boxing game I'm currently making for the first time, and <laughs> I had no idea what to expect here. But since I put it up on itch, it's had almost 5,000 downloads. It's just crazy. So many of you left super valuable feedback and some of you even recorded yourself playing the game. So today we're gonna look at your reaction to the game, the things you liked and the things you didn't like and maybe even fix some of those things. I may also have a highly requested little surprise gift for you all so stay tuned for that. I've been developing this game for a while now. <laughs> things have changed a lot since I started this project. So I think this is also a good opportunity to give you a more overall update on the game in general. Like what the future looks like, release date, features, and so on. But I'm super excited to see what you think of the game and a bit nervous to be honest. <laughs> so let's kick the episode off with that. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see this thing. So I remember from the videos that I can use this to lean. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the player is very nice and wobbly. I like that. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> kind of thought that the right stick would control the camera, but it controls the upper body. Um, I guess that's something you can get used to. The controls are kind of tricky uh, to get into the first time, but I'm getting the hang of it slightly. The control, it, like, it feels good. The controls feel pretty intuitive. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah, I mean, that feels satisfying. I have to say. I could definitely see myself buying this game on Steam, which, by the way, you should go wish list. Okay, so for my taste, the camera is way too slow. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> why, why do I walk around? Certain elements already feel to me better than like what Fight Night would have have done. It's a little bit hard to say without playing against someone. I love the colors and the look and the feel. I like the floppy floppy feet on the ground. Okay, so I've watched a lot of you play Punch a Bunch. Thank you so much for taking the time to download the game, play it, record. It's so much fun to just watch you play and just see your reaction as you're picking up the controls and just getting a feel for the game. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest here. I did not expect this to go so well at all. Like I, this is the first game I'm making ever. And I honestly expected quite terrible feedback, <laughs> but you guys seem to actually like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. All right, so the first thing I noticed is that some of you picked up the controls really quickly, but for most of you, it took a bit of time to kind of get into the groove of things. Most people felt that punching with the right hand was pretty natural because you lean with the right hand and punch, and because leaning is so connected to punching, it felt natural. But then punching with the left hand felt like a disconnect because you had to lean with the right hand, but punch with the left hand. So some of you suggested here to have the punch buttons be on the face pad, like these buttons instead. The problem is that if you lean with this, I mean, you can't really push these buttons at the same time, if that makes sense, unless you play like some sort of strange. I mean, we can make it an option, but I think we still need to make this work somehow. Initially, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to do some big changes. People, it's not intuitive, it, people are struggling and it's, yeah. we need to fix it. However, as I was watching you play, it quickly became pretty obvious that even just 10 minutes in, you started getting used to it and it seemed like it wasn't as much of a problem anymore. Now, obviously making the player comfortable immediately is, is super important, but personally, I, I really enjoy games where mastering the controls is like 
part of the challenge. A game like uh, Co-op is perhaps taking this to the extreme, but Bennett's later game Getting Over It is a great example in this. I don't know if you've played it, but in the beginning it just seems almost impossible to play, and just getting over that first tree is like infuriating, it seems impossible. But then, as you get the hang of the controls and you kind of understand, it, it starts getting easier. And, and then, when you come back to the beginning, you start wondering what was the big deal about getting over this tree. Uh, for me, that's like a really satisfying experience when you feel like you really mastered the controls. But so, back to the punching. If you're used to playing the game and you want to perform a specific attack, and you kind of have muscle memory to do it, it's very important that that actually happens. You definitely don't want the controls to feel random. However, a problem I have with most fighting games is that even if the player is just randomly pressing buttons with clearly no intention whatsoever, the character on the screen is still executing perfect attacks. In a completely random order, of course, but they're still perfectly executed. This is where I'm trying to do something different with Punch a Bunch. I want you to have to practice the actual punches of landing a good strike, that it's not just like press X to perform a perfect jab. I want the game to be more about um, intuition, about feeling the character, more than just memorizing button combinations. Personally, I, I kind of like the idea that you can actually miss or perform a weak hit if you don't coordinate it well. So, watching you guys learn and play actually makes me think that we're in a pretty good spot with this. Now I understand that some people may not enjoy this, but I just feel like if I'm gonna make it just like the other fighting games, then how am I standing out from those games? I mean, I'm not saying that the game is perfect. There's obviously a lot to work on and we'll get to some of your other feedback as well, but I just wanna kind of mention that. It's not necessarily a bad thing that the controls are different from other games because I think that in the end, that's really what it's all about, right? We wanna make something new. The camera is way too slow. What happens to me is I wanna use the right joystick to counter adjust the camera. I do agree that the camera is probably too slow, but making it too fast might make some people nauseated by playing the game, which we definitely don't want. Definitely the most obvious solution is to just add a setting for how fast the camera moves, but Jonas had a really good idea for how to solve this problem. Maybe, maybe you can also find a way to maybe allow me to rotate the camera. I guess the, the D-pad would be a way to do it, right? Now, I do think that punch a bunch is probably a little bit too fast for you to want to drop your movement control and just hold down this button while the camera moves. So I did a quick test here with a slight variation of that solution. So instead of you moving the camera, you just simply press up and it just resets the camera. So this way, if you kind of like the slow camera movement, then that's more comfortable, but you want to move around the opponent quickly, but then reset the camera, you just pop, click the button, and you're good again. And then obviously we'll add a setting for the camera speed as well. A huge thing I'm noticing is the game is pretty laggy on weaker systems. People trying to play in 4K are getting some really bad frame rates and people with slower machines are just not having a good time at all. I just wanna say that I've spent zero effort on the optimization of the game. So like the, like the shorts are, what, like millions of polygons? <laughs> Whoops. I'm definitely gonna do some optimization down the line, don't worry. I mean, it's a pretty simple looking game and it should run fine on most systems. So we're gonna deal with that, just not right now. <laughs> There's also been quite a few comments on Discord and YouTube about uh, running out of stamina too quickly. Oh, I'm looking at how tired I am. What I'm thinking to solve that problem is that I wanna add an adrenaline feature in the game. So basically when you land a hit, you get a little bit of an adrenaline boost which replenishes your stamina so that you can instantly hit again without running out of stamina. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I feel like it might make it a bit more dynamic than just reducing the amount of stamina each hit takes. And then we also had like one or maybe two comments about wanting mouse and keyboard support, but I don't know, it doesn't really seem worth it to me. Like not enough people wanted it, so. Ah, okay, I get it. You want mouse and keyboard support. I, I know, I know a lot of you don't have a gamepad, um, but I mean, come on, this game is designed for a controller. Like you, you lean with this thing. How are you gonna do that on a keyboard? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, fine, I'll try. Just give me a while. I got something. So I tried making it so that the mouse basically 
leans the character and then you punch with the left and right with the left and right click it's i mean i don't know it works but i don't like it as much as a controller i gotta say it's just not as i mean maybe maybe i can work on it but make it a little bit better but i just don't know if i should release this it just doesn't i don't know for me it doesn't really give a great representation of the game and the feeling that it's supposed to be but it, should i release this did, do you, do you want to give it a try or <sighs> okay fine i guess we'll do this so that the no controller people as well can try but before i do i'd like to say something this right here is my friend mike see when you guys were complaining about the uh, lack of keyboard support, you want to know what Mike did? He went like, oh boy, finally a good enough reason to buy myself an Xbox joypad. So he went online and picked himself up a sweet controller just to play punch a bunch. Now, if that's not a good enough reason to end up on the pe epic pegboard, then I don't know what is. Mike, welcome to the club. You deserve it. T to Toby, this is not the right size. It's too small. Didn't you get- I sent you the template. You didn't- You didn't get the template? Okay, sorry, uh... Okay, well, Mike... I'm sorry, it's Toby's fault. It's, okay, whatever. Uh, for this new updated version of the demo, I went a bit further and created a menu so that you can now pause the game and adjust your mouse sensitivity. While it was in there, I also added a setting for the camera speed. And alright, so definitely if you're on mouse and keyboard, you want to hit escape, adjust the sensitivity to work for you. You're probably on a different mouse speed setting than I am, so it's not going to be the same for you as it is for me. I'm just going to set this to 20, maybe 20, try 20. Yeah, 20 is pretty good for me, but yeah, just give it a ch adjust it until it feels right for you. So you can switch between gamepad and mouse and keyboard by just pressing tab. For those of you who do have a controller, it would be really awesome if you gave it a try as well so that you can kind of compare and see how you feel with controller versus mouse. Should we keep mouse and keyboard support or should we scrap it? Let me know. Okay, but as far as the demo goes, most of you were really positive about the game. Obviously, I, I know that this is not really a game. It's just you're just punching a dummy and it's not really that fun. But considering that and how positive you guys were, I'm feeling really optimistic about the game, more than ever. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of Punch a Bunch as well. This game started out as a little mini project. I was planning on working on it for maybe six months and then just release it. Yeah, that worked out well. To be fair, I was only planning on making it super simple with just local multiplayer and nothing else. So. We kind of did do that. But the fact that so many of you were excited about the game makes me feel like... Uh, I feel like I owe it to you guys to make the most of this. So in terms of features, online multiplayer is probably one of the most requested features, which obviously would be great. And, you know, if there's going to be multiplayer, it has to be online. I actually just got this course, it's Ben Tristam's course, on making multiplayer games in Unreal Engine. So I bought it and I just started watching it. I haven't really gotten far at all with it, but I'm hoping that I'll get some information there so that I hopefully turn this game into multiplayer. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a huge job to turn it into an online multiplayer game, but uh, we're definitely going to try. We're not quitters here. Another thing that I'm really excited about is creating an AI for the game and create like a single player thing. Okay, so that sounds really complicated, and it is, but hear me out. So initially, I was thinking about running like some sort of neural network and like training an AI to actually play the game with the same controls as you play with, but I quickly realized that that's just probably not gonna work out that well. I'm not smart enough to do that, and it just seems like a bad idea and something that wouldn't really work out. So I started thinking about alternatives to this and how we could make a single player game without complicating it too much. And so that brought me back to Super Punch-Out for the Super Nintendo, where you basically go through different leagues and you fight specific characters. And each of those characters have like a specific thing about them. Like maybe one is like really small and fast and you just have to block and counter. And then another one could be really, really big where if you even take a single hit, you're down. But maybe they're really slow. And that way you can just sort of make very simple pre-programmed boss fights out of all of them. I'm actually really excited about this, even more than training an AI, because I think this could potentially add way more personality to the game with having like different looks, different characters. And so what about release date? Well, I'm determined to release this game in 2021, no matter what. Like if it's early access or full release, that doesn't matter, but I want it to be released, available to you in some shape or form, 2021. And this all seems like a lot of work and that 
this might seem kind of impossible, but that brings me to the next uh, part of this video, which is uh, YouTube. So, so far I've been aiming to make devlogs every week, which has been successful sometimes and not so successful other times, but you kind of enter a mode where every week you're just trying to make progress with the game that would make for a good devlog. And so far that's been actually really great because it really pushed me to make progress on the game every single week and like really trying to push the game forward so that I would have something to make a video about. But I do feel like the game is at a point right now where it maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense to try to cram new features into the game every single week just to make a new video. Maybe the best thing to do right now is to spend a couple of weeks or three weeks on just fine tuning the controls and really nail that down so that it's solid. But that obviously wouldn't make for a very interesting video. So I'm going to reduce the amount of devlogs I'm making and make sure that when I do make one they're really good and there's good updates in there for you. And this way I can actually make faster progress on the game and I'll also have time to make other videos that I'm super excited to make and that I think that you're gonna like as well. I think this is kind of a win-win situation. We'll have better devlogs and also other interesting videos. Okay, so to play Punch a Bunch on mouse and keyboard, just head over to itch.io, download the new version of the game, and you're good to go. Uh, remember to click tab to switch between gamepad and mouse and keyboard. I'll put a link in the description, and uh, let me know what you think. I hope you like this video. Thank you again so much to everyone who played the game and sent feedback. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget about the Google algorithm juice. Make sure to wishlist Punch a Bunch on Steam, like the video, drop a comment. If you're not subscribed, then Please do it to support the channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye. It's made by Pointy. Oh, what does that make you think of? Poopy pants.